Daily Mail have described Ed Miliband's late father Ralph as the man who hated Britain. But the Labour leader says the paper's attack on the left-wing intellectual who once served in the Royal Navy has gone too far. I, I was appalled when I read the Daily Mail on Saturday and I saw them saying he hated Britain. It's a lie. I'm even more appalled that they've repeated that lie today and they've gone further and described my father's legacy as evil. Now, evil is a word re reserved for, for particular cases and, and I wasn't willing to let that stand. It was this article in Saturday's paper which so enraged Ed Miliband. The Mail published his response today but also republished extracts from Saturday's article and has refused to apologise. When the Daily Mail not only says that, but publishes a photo on their website of his gravestone with a, with a pun about it, saying he was a grave socialist, I'm furious. Britain saved his life. It saved his life. And this paper is saying that, that he hated Britain. And that is a lie. That is a lie. And, and I'm not willing to, to, to let it stand. Today, in a statement, the Mail said, Ralph Miliband wasn't an ordinary private individual, but a prominent academic and author. He hated such British institutions as the Queen, the Church and the Army, and wanted a workers' revolution. Our readers have a right to know that. Ed Miliband has taken a tough stance on press regulation, but insists the row has nothing to do with controlling the press. Today, he receives support from the Prime Minister. Frankly, if someone attacked my father in print, I'd react in exactly the same way. There isn't a day when I don't miss him, there isn't a day when I don't think about him, and if someone attacked him, I'd want to rush into print and defend him, and that's exactly what Ed Miliband's doing. The Daily Mail says Mr Miliband's response to the story shows you can't allow politicians to regulate the press. But Ed Miliband says he's simply a son trying to defend his father.